an opportunity to see many of them. Mm. Provide me for the last time. Uh -huh. I'm fucked out. Mm. Tani kept everyone waiting, taking picture with almost everybody. Uh -huh. That's understandable, Dad. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. I had to take pictures with all my friends. Mm. We've been together for almost five years. And after this ceremony, I may never see many of them again. No, no, she's right, you know. Yeah, she's right. It's her day. It's a day, you know, and it's once and for all. And and you know, this is, comes only once in a lifetime. It's but it's not funny at all. Uh, congratulations, my princess, mm, darling. Congratulations, you make me proud. We stayed back too long. Um, I would have followed you the moment you and mom were leaving. Mm. I feel Tony is right. She has to take pictures and exchange addresses with her friends. 
it's normal. My graduation is in two years' time, and I'm going to keep you longer than this. All right. All right. Say, say what you like. Hmm? You, you rushed me out in the morning without allowing me to take my breakfast. And all I took on the graduation grant was a cup of ice cream. Oh, 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 sorry about that. What a mistake. Sorry about that, my baby. Maybe we should have taken along with us. Our feeding bottle. Ah. <laughs> oh, what that is. <laughs> She says we should have taken her along with me my feeding bottle. I don't mind her. <laughs> okay, that's all right. right. Uh, stop that. Yeah. Come on. Everyone. Eju. Ronke. Dad. I'm very sorry for taking all of your time on the graduation ground. It's all right. It's all right. I'm sorry. Peju. I'm really sorry. It was meant to be a joke. A costly joke. I'm really sorry. Ah! To be candid. I am hungry too. Uh, uh, Dad? Yeah? Where is mom? She's been busy in the kitchen ever since we came back from the ceremony. I need to change. No, 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 no. Now, you girls, you step out now and step right into the kitchen to go and assist your mom, all right? Don't forget, we have so many friends at the ceremony and they're all coming back home uh, to pay us a visit. Some of the church elders were there too, you know? Yes, I saw them. Uh -huh. Who? I saw Reverend Sarkis and his wife. Aha, uh -huh. and you know, he's coming back home with his wife to come and uh, pay us a visit. And <laughs> he will likely be praying for you before you go for your National Youth Service uh, assignment. Mm -hmm. So, go and join your mom, right? And where are you going back? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Yes. Ah, you seem to be happy to go back. I can't wait to get back to school. Hey, it's good, right. there. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Jehovah be praised. God is good. Ah. Ah. God is good. I'm back. Okay. Ah. Lord, I thank you for this food. The Lord has done it. I thank you for this food. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh, what is it again? Nothing. Nothing? Are you sure? I know it. You have been disturbed again. Hmm? I'm not feeling comfortable about the whole idea. I still feel there is a lot to worry about. I wish the young man would change his mind. Well, yeah. I doubt if he will. He's so passionate about this. He believes that is the will of God upon his life. But is that the call of God upon your life? Mom, if I'm so sure it's the will of God for my life, then I have to see what he sees and go where he goes. I don't like this idea. I mean, the young man is gainfully employed in a private hospital. Both of you will do well in the city. I don't share this vision of both of you going to a remote village for missionary work after your wedding. Mom, you are a in the church. Dad is a church elder. Both of you believe in serving God and fulfilling divine purpose. Yeah, but I don't believe you can't fulfill the divine purpose of God until you go to a mission field. I don't share your mission. <sighs> Teddy, your fiance is a trained medical doctor. And you, you just graduated last year with a brilliant result. 
Imagine a second class upper in computer engineering. I mean, what does that have to do with mission work? Hey? Tilly said he believes the Lord will use him as a medical missionary. And you, a computer missionary. <laughs> no, me. It's not that I fully really like the missionary idea. But I love him. And I have to see the vision he sees. He was here this afternoon and I discussed with him. He said he has already discussed with you about his plans. Yes, Dad. So, what is it all about? He was talking about the possibility of having the wedding in October. Mm. Well, I asked him about his proposed plans to go to the mission fields and he's still sticking to his gun. Dad. Mm. Yes. Don't you support his plans? Uh, well, I, I, he said he believes that's the will of God for his life, and I do, you know, respect that vision. But you see, I can't stop wondering why both of you with very promising career prospects can just dump certainty for uncertainty. <laughs> you know, I mean, I will support both of you getting married and serving the Lord, but you see, this idea of, you know, Becoming missionaries in some remote you know, places. Dad. Yes. I know you love him. Mm -hmm. But you don't like his decision to become a missionary after a wedding. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, he's a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. And you have been so highly favored by God to have become a second class upper computer engineering graduate. Mm -hmm. So why can't both of you just get married, live in the city, mm -hmm. and then you can send money and other materials to the, to the missionaries on the fields? Exactly. That was what I was telling her before you came in. I mean, I don't think I can agree with you on this, on this marriage. Mm. No, I don't understand what you are doing. I don't know what you are aiming at. so much in your education and for you to not turn around and then similarly want to as it were waste all that investment by just becoming a, a missionary is something that you've got to go and think about very seriously you know think about it Aren't you going to eat? Aren't you going to eat? Where did you get all this? She gave it to me after praying for her son. I tell you, it was a miracle. And how's the boy? God is faithful. After praying for the boy, he just slept quietly. You know, the woman said that, that was the third convulsion the boy had within a space of one week. Can you imagine? What amazed me was the way that boy slept off after the prayers. God is good. So in appreciation, the woman now gave me four wraps of pap and a lot of akara. See, <laughs> God is good, isn't it? For how long shall this continue? For the past five months, things have been going wrong for us. I don't even care much about myself. But this little child... Must he take part in the suffering of saving the Lord? Tenny. In a remote mission field. Tenny Ola. I don't want you to lose your faith, please. We have been in this village for the past three years. And the Lord has sustained us. 
We have been through thick and thin, doing the good works. When we came to this village, the entire place was in absolute darkness. But now the light of Christ is shining around. Can't you see? And people are beginning to accept the Lordship of Jesus Christ over themselves in this village. My dear, it is obvious the Lord is blessing the work. He has made us light in this village. But why should we be subjected to almost begging before we eat? We are trying, aren't we? We have a very big farm. Almost an acre of land. And you are trying to. Working with the women producing palm oil at the local mill. What else can we do? We labor all through the clearing and the seeding season. But the harvest was not favorable at all. That was a general problem. Everybody was disappointed at the shortage of rainfall. The hardship in the village was because of the poor harvest. Dear, but not to worry, dear. Joy comes in the morning. The little money I got from the Pamhoi mill has been spent this afternoon to buy the pomfita and the meat for marvelous. Dear, do you still believe that the Lord sent us here to serve Him? Yes, I do. Then He will never abandon us. He is going to rise for us. He will raise up help from unexpected places and from the city. Look, my dear, he is going to quench our thirst. He is going to wet our dry ground. In Jesus' name. Now, okay. thinking about going to Lafayette tomorrow. Lafayette? To see Baba? Yes. It has become necessary. The last time we both visited him was when, was when things were as tough as this. Remember? We need those soothing and encouraging words again. You know, when the spirit is down, you sure need someone to help lift it up. All right, my dear. I need such words more desperately than you do. You still have some strength. I don't even know how my spirit has suddenly begun to go down again. I wish I could follow you. No, you can't. You can't. Look, it's going to be too strenuous for you and Marvelous. He is bigger now. Remember the last time we went to Baba? He was very small, so you could strap him on your back and walk all the way. Again, the sun is going to be very hot. Really? And, my dear, the journey is very, very far. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> so, Bible study is tomorrow afternoon. Ah, I remember. Okay. You are going to handle it for me. What we'll be discussing tomorrow is the parable of the prodigal son, emphasizing the love of God for sinners who truly repent and come back to Him. That's okay by you. You know the story. It's good. Ah, well, this is what I'm going to do. 
very early tomorrow morning, I'll go around the village. I'll remind the fellowship leaders before they go to their farms. Is that okay? Eat your food, eat your, eat your, eat your. Marvelous! Whatever happens, never you leave your mission base unless the Lord tells you that your assignment is over. But Baba, help is no more forthcoming from the city church. And the mission agencies that used to send us provisions every three months have stopped doing so. The, the last we heard of them was about six, six months ago. And no one has even tried to visit us. And that is not enough reason for you to abandon your divine duty post. But Baba, what shall we do? We can't go begging. They sent us to that village, supported us for a while, and backed off. Do you believe that they were the one who sent you to that village? Or the Lord sent you to that village to go and serve him? Well... Uh, well, that's where the Lord has sent us to serve him. Then you focus on God. You focus on God. He sent you there. You only use the instrument of an agency or church body. But Baba, 
my wife. She is finding it increasingly difficult to cope. At times, we don't even have the right thing to give to our child. If those villagers are living there and they are well, then you should believe that you can live in that same village and be well with your child. That is the simple spiritual truth that you must believe and act upon. Yes, Tamra. See, let me send you to your wife. <laughs> Take this verse of the scripture back to your wife. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 20. Paul says, To the Jews I became a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. And to those who are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain those who are under the law. Paul said he became all things unto all men, that he might by all means save some. That is the spiritual principle of mission field. Hmm. Take your heart away from the city where you came from. Adjust your mind to be what the Lord wants you to be here. Good Papa, we are trying. We have tried to keep our hearts off the city church and the mission agencies where help will come from. We have a farm. My wife works with the women at the local oil mill. Normally, in exchange for her labor, they normally give her some bottles of palm oil, which she sells at the market. Good. Good. That is the spirit. You get the spirit. That's the spirit. The harvest has not been good this season. The, the, the yam seeds and the heaps got burnt, and we have a few tubers of yam to sell. It was the same thing here in Lafayette. The harvest was generally bad this time. The harvest was bad. But the Lord is our sufficiency. Thank you, Baba. We are encouraged again, Baba. I have told you before. I once attempted to leave the mission field into pastoral work in the city. <laughs> I suffered a terrible consequence because that was not my calling. Hmm. 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 I think I have an idea. Share it. Since help is no more coming from the city church and the mission agencies for now, mm -hmm. can't I send my wife to the city to seek financial help to, to help us at the mission field? That's a good idea. It's a good idea. But that would be a very long journey. Very long journey. Do you have enough money to make such trip? Well, we will see what we can sell to raise the money. Huh. Hmm. A lorry that goes to Kaba comes to your village every five days. And from Kaba, she has to board another vehicle to Iloni, from where she will take another transport to Lagos. We will raise the money. In that case, I think I can get some money for you from here. And then, and the Lord will provide you with the rest. Thank you, Baba. I'm very grateful. <sighs> Baba. Yeah. I've been wondering. But what? I've wondered.
wanted to ask. When are you going back to your town? Home? Yes, Baba. You have been here for the past 20 years. Aren't you thinking about retiring from the mission field? Aren't you going back home to your people? To go and do what? I belong here. This is where my labor is. I brought light to them in this village where darkness pervaded before. The church is growing steadily. I am their pastor. I have a lot of roles to perform here. They look up to me for many things. Naming ceremony, burial, prayers, anything. When it is time for me to go, the Lord will send a substitute. Hmm. Hmm. Baba, sometimes I'm scared. About what? Baba, you have been in this village for the past 20 years. Teaching and preaching. You established a church here. You established a local school for their children where you teach their sons and daughters. You baptized the elderly ones amongst them, confronted their gods, and brought light into their darkness. Mm -hmm. Go on. What are you scared of? Your wife died here. But I didn't bury her here. I took her body back home. And you still came back here? Because I had not finished the work I came here to do. Oh, Baba. The more reason why I'm scared. Very scared. I don't think I have your kind of resilient spirit. I, I don't. I don't. A young man, you must always believe I have not always been like this. The Lord built me up. I was built up. Don't worry. You you Come on, come see you. You're supposed to be like me, Yarewa. Who are you? 
you go to the city to raise funds for our mission work here. But from the look of things, I don't think you can be able to make that long journey. I don't know. All my joints are pinning me. Good the bones on my legs seem so weak. Sorry, dear. Can it be malaria? When did you start feeling this way? Yesterday evening. Before I began the Bible studies, I was already feeling feverish before I finished the studies. But you shouldn't have gone to do that strenuous work at the oil mill. The one you did today was too strenuous. I couldn't have gone if I was feeling this way. I was so okay in the morning. Mm. But the pain came back terribly after I'd finished working at the oil mill. Tenny, this work is becoming too strenuous for you. I won't let you work there again. I didn't just sit there doing that. Your health is much more important to me than the work you do. Eh? We need the money for our upkeep. Are you? <laughs> Sorry. Ah! Sorry. If you can get some feet to rub these legs. Sorry, sorry. You are not going to walk at that place again. I won't let you walk there. Look! It's little. Oh. Wait, wait. I, I, don't, I don't think we have any left at home. Let me go to Clement and see if he has any store. Alright. Okay. I, I'll get some very little bit for you too. Okay. Oh. My dear. Yes. Do you have some money to pay me for it? Yes, 50 naira is adequate. It's just enough for the balm and the tablet I want to buy. You know Baba gave us some money towards your trip to Lagos. Remember we owe him? Yeah. 200 naira. Oh. Oh. 
Uh, but I can't possibly remove the 200 Naira from the 1,000 Baba gave us towards your journey. The 1,000 Naira is not even enough. What are we going to do? I don't know. Maybe we should pray and believe the Lord for healing. Amen. And believe the Lord for healing. Amen. Amen. Daniel. Uh, hey, Ambo. The miracle of provision has made me feel a bit better. This 200 naira, we have to add it to the money Baba gave us to make your trip to Lagos. You know, I, I will explain to Clement that I will pay him back when you return from the trip. No, money. we need to maintain our honor and integrity in this village. It will hate our mission and evangelism. It's not a good idea. Oh, in those, we, we also went to Christ. You're right. You're right. But what about the trip? Don't worry. We'll manage the money. Huh. There's only one lorry that goes from here to Kaba. And it goes every five days. The last time it went was two days ago. It's coming back tomorrow to leave in another two days. It's a long journey. Don't worry. We'll keep the money till then. Okay. Let me go to Clement and get those tablets and the balm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Before it closes, I'll eat when I come back. Yeah.
come back in eight days. Try and come back because of the assignments we have for. That's okay? no problem. I know ah. I have to come back. Ah, darling, see, see, the lorry is almost full. Let's hurry. I've already paid for my seat yesterday. You Don't did? Worry. You saw the driver yesterday? Yes, I saw him at the Bamboo joint. Oh, my God. I also saw about five to six people who came to pay ahead for their trip. Ah, I didn't know. <laughs> now, let's take our time then. <laughs> but it's Let just that. It's just that uh, I can't get a feedback about home from here. We are almost cut off from the network. Not absolutely. At least we can still receive some information through radio. Who is talking about radio? <laughs> I'm talking about communicating with you ah, on ah, phone. Ah, ah. <laughs> Forget about that. <laughs> no cell phone, no network. The nearest network is in Kaba, about small 60 kilometers away from, from here. Oh. So, oh. honey, don't worry. Anytime you want to see me, just do so. Can you see me? I'll miss you. Daddy, I'll miss you too. Let's make, let's try and catch up with the okay. lorry. Mother Lords. I'm Favor from unexpected from unexpected sources. Amen. 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 Amen.
What is it? Tell me. What about her? I was thinking about her throughout the night. And I don't know why. I'm sure it's because you miss her. Yes. Especially her boy. <laughs> Marvelous. I miss him more. I wonder how a two-year-old boy will be coping with their missionary life. Look, when they came home about seven months ago, that boy was about a year and a few months old. Mm -hmm. And he was looking robust. And his mother, too, was looking very well. So I believe they're living well. Don't worry yourself. As missionaries? Look, I know of missionaries who live well. My friend who is a missionary in Italy, he lives well. Hmm? And I know some people, too, who are missionaries in, in, in Greece, in Turkey, in Austria, hmm? and they are doing very well. You know, that um, uh, architect, architect Edward and his wife and children, and I will pray for in church about two months ago. Hmm? They are missionaries to <laughs> Russia. To Russia, far away Russia. Hmm? And they are doing very fine. Honey, uh -uh. Hmm. stop being funny. Yeah. If, if my daughter and her husband have been missionary to all those places, I would have been happy. But imagine a missionary to Udoji, or whatever she called the name of that place. She even said it's about 160 kilometers to Kaba. Hmm? Look, let me tell you something. All those places I mentioned, they have their own villages too. Huh? Yes, I know. But they are European villages. Look, I would have preferred a European village. Look, look, listen, my dear, listen. You know, what we are talking about here is not the village, but the souls. Hmm? Standard of living might be different in those villages, but the souls in the villages are the same. Meaning? Well, the Lord sent them there, you know, not minding the village. Hmm. Ma, you want to make a call? Mm. Where is the number? It's ringing. Tenny, mommy, marvelous. Hey, Auntie Tenny. Come on, please listen to me. Listen, I'm listening. I'm listening. How is marvelous? How is um, Bradley and and? Listen to me. Be calm. I'm already in Lagos. What? Wow. Where are you? I mean, where are you? Be calm. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you now? I'm at home. Is that their mom there with you? No, they're not. I'm in the room. Should I go and tell them? No, don't tell them yet. Just do something for me. What? We're at the motor park. Please get a cab. Come and pick us now. Why? 
What happened? Why should I come and get you? There's no cause for alarm. I spent all the money I had on me. So there's no way I could get Oak. Please don't tell mom yet. Just get a cab. Come and pick us now. Okay. All right, I'll be there. Just my room, okay? And you never told me you are going to meet them. How come? Penny, how are you? Hope there's no problem. There's no problem, Mom. I came home briefly for an assignment. Mm -hmm. And I'll be going back as, as soon as I'm through with it. Okay. Mom, yes, she needs to eat. Eh? She has not eaten anything for long. Is that? Eh, tell Lizzie to prepare something for her first. All right. What about Marvelous? Has, has he eaten anything? It looks from the state that he was up Then. But are you sure you are alright? I'm alright. I'm very fine. 
What do you notice? But you look lean and starving. And even your son doesn't look all right either. No, mom. I may look clean, but I'm not starving. I work on the mission field, require a lot of fasting, so we fast a lot. Is that? I don't believe you. <laughs> Why? Do you fast all year long? <laughs> even if you fast for long, you may grow lean. But the minute you resume your food, you, 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 you gain back your weight and you look fresher. But your eyes, your face, all give up evidence of being seriously famished. That's not true, man. <laughs> How's that? That is fine. It's in, it's in his room upstairs. Take my brothers. This boy looks so tasty. Lizzie! Ma! Quickly pick three oranges for me. Yes, ma. Tenny. Mm. This boy doesn't deserve the punishment you expose him to over there in your village. Hey? He's not being punished, Mom. We are taking good care of him. He's simply tired because of the long journey. Please, let me quickly see Dad in the room. Okay. Yes, come in. Dad. Ah! Daniela! <laughs> How are you? Fine, sir. Yes, 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 yes. You know, we're just discussing about you. Uh, How was your trip? Fine. Very good, very good. How's my velocity? It's fine, he's with me. Band and the mission work. We are all fine. Everything is okay. Mm, but you look somehow weak. Mm? Yeah. The journey was so tedious. Mm, mm. You look clean yeah. also, eh? You look clean. Huh? Do I? How is your wife over there in the village? Tenny? Mom says so too. Tenny, Tenny, you know I'm your father. And you can always count on me. Talk to me. Talk to open up to me. How is life in the village? How is your welfare? How is everything generally? Hmm? <laughs> Dad. Yes. It has not been easy. Mm. But we are sure that the Lord called us to do what we are doing. Mm. So we couldn't have done otherwise. Mm. Mm. Come on, come on. Come on, share the experience with me. Come on. All right. Come on. The Lord is working over there. We took there the light of Christ. Mm -hmm. The villagers are increasingly discarding the darkness. Mm -hmm. But Dad, yes. we've been struggling. Struggling? How? We've not been receiving help from outside the mission base. Mm -hmm. Many times, we live in hunger and thirst. Mm -hmm. We have a farm, but the harvest this year has been so bad. You? <laughs> you have a farm? Ah. I even work somewhere to earn some money for the family. That's good. That's, that's good. So, so, so where do you work? Who employed you and what do you do? I do. Pamoyomi. Pamoyomi. What do you do there? I thought, is there an industrial mill in the village? No, Dad. It's the local one in the forest. 
I had to learn it. We matched the pan foot pop with our legs ah. inside the ground motor. What? Dad. Did you look up her more meal? Oh, no, 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 no. And, and you have to match. Oh. You said I could count on you. That was why I opened up to you. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just that I'm surprised. You know, it's just that uh, I can't imagine how my daughter could be working in an oil palm oil mill, not even an industrial one, a local one where you have to you know, mash the ground. It's all right. That was what was available for me to do in this situation. So. Well, how do they pay you? Do they pay you monthly or weekly or, or, or how do you receive your salary or something? They don't pay me money. Uh, so, <laughs> they don't pay you money? They hmm. give me a four liter keg of palm oil for my two days job. Four liter keg of palm oil for two, day, two days job. So, what do you do with that? I sell it to the market day and bring home the money. Ah. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. 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 Dad, why are you taking it this far now? You are trying to make me feel bad for being the call of God upon my life. It's, it's, I'm, I'm sorry, it's not, it's not that, you know, it's just that, you know, I mean, how does one think that a second-class upper graduate of computer engineering to go dancing in a village or a palm ground motor, I mean, any father will feel bad. Huh? How do you expect me to feel? Hmm? Oh, daddy. You shouldn't feel bad. But whole things were gained to me. This I have counted loss for Christ. I also count all things loss for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish. I me gain Christ. Hmm. You just quoted some very strong defensive Bible verses there. Hmm. Yes. That's Philippians 3, 7 to 8. The Lord gave me as a weapon against the devil hmm. when I was constantly molested by the thought of my academic achievements. Hmm. I'm sorry, Dad. Mm, mm. It's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. For being too okay. harsh as I do. Mm, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I have to defend my vision and calling. Daniela, I'm proud of you. Mm? Thanks, Dad. That's my daughter. I'm very proud of you. Thanks. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes, who's that? Uh, Ruke. How was she, your sister? Yes, Dad. Uh, she came to the park to pick us in each other's camp. Uh, you call her your arrival, eh? I spent all the money I had on me on the trip, so there was no way I could get here. So I used the last money on me to make a phone call to her. Mm. And I told her not to inform you. <laughs> I see. <laughs> well, food is ready. And Dad, she has not eaten since morning. Uh. Are you fasting? Hmm. If I had eaten out of the money on me, I would have been stranded. <laughs> Mommy is filming downstairs. Why? She said Sister Tenny has been starving and that she has also exposed Marvelous to starvation. She said she won't allow her to take Marvelous back to the village. Ah, Dad. Don't worry, I'll handle this. I'll handle this. Lady? Yes, Dad. 
Please excuse us. No mm. problem. Uh, and tell your mom that we'll be at the table shortly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why have you come back home? When we saw the situation of things, the help is not coming from the church or from our missionary agencies. My husband and I agreed that I should come to source for funds and material things. Mm, like soliciting for, for funds? Yes. It's not strange. It's common for missionaries to source for funds. Those who can't go should support those who have come. It's either you go or your money goes. And do you have ideas as to the places and people you intend to contact? Yes, especially churches who have missions as their vision and individuals who believe in the work of the Great Commission. Well, it's all right. I, 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 would, um, I would release your mom's car and the driver to you mm. tomorrow to take you around all the places you want to go. No? I don't think she will agree to that. <sighs> Just give me some money. I'll go around on my home. I still have plenty of time for the assignments. I'm spending between seven and ten days. Ah, you're not serious. Seven and ten days, go. <clears throat> you're not even talking about one month and three weeks or, <laughs> or three weeks. Only my body is here. Where is my bellows? He's sleeping. In your room? Yes. Ma, what have you come to do in the city? To source for funds from churches and individuals who have visions for the Great Commission. You want to go about begging? No, Ma. Going about asking, seeking, and knocking as commanded by the Lord. That's very smart, my girl. Very smart. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Holy, that's not funny. So many things are still wrong about Teddy and her husband. Like what? Like what? When you saw her, what did you notice? Noticed? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> don't you see that she looks so lean and starved? My dear, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think, I think she's all right. You know? In fact, I think she looks smart for her missionary job. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Keep it up. Thanks for your concern, Mom. Do you have a nursery school in your place? <laughs> nursery school? In a village? Then how do you hope to cater for the educational future of this boy? Mommy. When it is time for him to start, we'll know what to do. When is the time? Huh? This boy ought to have been in a kindergarten class by now. I'm holding him back here. He's not going with you to that village. He starts school on Monday. <sighs> Mommy, please. I didn't tell his daddy that. Let me take him back home with me, then bring him back here after I might have discussed with his daddy. Then go and call his father and discuss with him on phone. We don't use phone there. There's no network. I've got to take him back home with me. Tell him. Relax, okay? Just relax. Hmm? There are missionaries in Japan, in Greece, in Austria, in South Africa. Why did you choose to go and serve the Lord in a remote local village? Uh-uh. Because that was where the Lord sent us. He thought that was better for us to save him than in Japan. Will you shut up your mouth and don't ever talk to me like that? I'm sorry, ma'am. Honey, I think this is all right. It's all right. But she should appreciate the fact that we are showing deep concern about their welfare. It's all right. Ah. I'm sorry, ma'am.
Who's it? Come in. Tell me. What's it, mom? Tell me. I'm disturbed and concerned about you. What do you mean, mom? Your daddy said you told him some things. What did he tell you? How about your condition in that village? You're struggling to feed. Your very low standard of living and your lack of financial support. He even said you told him that things are not easy for you over there. Is that all he told you? Did you tell him more? I was just asking. You don't need to tell him more because I already knew the moment I saw you that things are not easy for you. Only I don't stop to wonder. About what? Tell him. Many people out there are dying and struggling to have what you have. Your academic achievements. Imagine a second class upper in computer engineering. But you just decided to throw them into the garbage and to pick up working in a remote village where you struggle to feed. But why? Mom, you know why? Ah, no. Tell me. Because many had died and struggling in the darkness of that village for not having the light that I have. I asked from her, okay, how she got to know you in the city. She said you phoned her to come over and pick you, that you were stranded. That you didn't even have money because there wasn't any money on you again. Was that true? Yes, ma'am. <sighs> okay, what about the child? This boy doesn't deserve the punishment you exposed him to over there in your village. Why can't you leave him with us? We put him in school and take care of him. Mom, my vlog is just a bit above two years. When it is time for him to start, we shall know what to do. So you can't leave him? No, I can't. How will his father feel when I get home and he doesn't see his son? Who? Oh, which who? Your village? <laughs> Mom. Wherever the Lord places us his own. That is where my husband is. That is where my job is. My vision and calling is there. The people there are my people. But you are suffering and dying, dear daughter. No, more. We are living there to make them live. She's here. Perhaps you can convince her and talk to her yourself. Tell me. Your auntie in London. Uh, hello, ma. Hello. Auntie. Now, did you discuss all this with Lado? Yes, ma'am. Perhaps someone apart from us might be able to talk sense into her. Going to join your husband to serve as missionaries. I told you then that it wasn't going to be easy. 
But you told me you were going to be receiving support from some missionary agencies, churches, and the rest. And what are all this that I'm beginning to hear about you, Tenny? Auntie, the matter is not as bad as mom has portrayed it. Listen, your mother told me already that you look so famished and lean. She said you hardly get enough to give your child to eat. She even told me how you got stranded at the motor park and Roka had to come and rescue you. She told me that your husband sent you home to come, to come and beg for support. Tell me. Auntie, let me explain. Listen, there is nothing to explain. Nothing to explain. You just have to think straight. Think straight, Tenny. Think straight. With your degree in computer engineering and your, and, your, and your husband's profession as a medical doctor, you have to go to, the, to, to, to one remote village to, to, to go and be held up just because you want to serve God? No, you don't have to. You can serve God as missionaries in the city. Yes, you can serve God as missionaries in the city. <laughs> Look, there are missionaries here in Scotland who are, I mean, they, 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 are, they are Nigerians and they are, they are pastoring churches here. They are missionaries. You can serve God in the city. What exactly is wrong with you and your husband? And see, as a matter of fact, actually... Listen to me, Tenny. Your mom already told me that you have the way of explaining yourself out of whatever anybody says. She said you have always proved adamant and stubborn, and that there's nothing anybody could say that would make any sense to you. So I am not ready to listen to anything you have to say, Tenny. Okay, I'm listening. Now, I am leaving you with options. You can come over here with your husband and start a church. Yes, it's true these people brought the gospel to us in Africa, but they have lost the gospel. We are the one bringing the light back to them now. And you can come here and start a church and serve as missionaries. There are several missionaries here from Nigeria. And they are doing well. You can also come around and start something. I will send you the necessary papers. I will talk to my papa. And I know that the church will do something to give you the initial support for your takeoff. Shift your base, then. Then shift your missionary base. Bring it here. Shift your base here. Auntie. Yes, speak on. I'm listening. We are grateful for all your concerns. I will discuss everything with my husband when I get home. You see? <laughs> so you have to do you have to discuss such a simple thing with your husband before you take such a decision? No, Auntie. I need to discuss with him first. Then if he agrees to shift base, I don't have any option than to follow him. Yeah, it's okay. Just give the phone to your mom. All right, ma. Just give the phone to your mom. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She wants to speak with you. Okay. Ladu. Auntie, your daughter is so stubborn. Ah. Did you tell her about the offer for the two of them to come over? Of course I told her. I was shocked to hear that she had to tell her husband for making such a very simple decision. It has been hard to convince her. Anyway, is my brother there? Can you give the phone to him? Okay. Ladu wants to talk to you. Hello, Ladu. Hello, brother. I can't understand your daughter anymore. What are all these problems that I'm hearing about her? Well. Why don't you just listen to me? I want you to do something for me. What is it? You know, just relax, okay? Just relax? Yeah. Just don't worry. Leave her alone. Don't forget she's now married and no longer a girl to be pushed around. Eh? She's now under a man and she has the spirit of God in her to know the right thing to do. So if she has decided with her husband to serve the Lord in alliance then, so be it. I believe her God is able to care for her. Do you understand me? Yes. All right. All right then. Uh, well, Ladon, I can only beg you now to give her your support. Hmm? Support? In what way? Well, uh, she's going back in about eight days, eight days time. And uh, I believe you can support her mission work by sending your donation through the Western Union. <sighs> okay. I'll see what I can do. Just give the phone to her and let me talk to her. All right. Thank you very much, Ladina. She wants to speak with you. Are you sure you are doing the right thing? Yes, Auntie. Huh? Tell me, I think my brother knows better. He has suggested that I should support your missionary work. So, I'm going to see what I can do. To... <laughs>
Send you something. Jesus. Thank you very much, ma. Ah, we are grateful, ma. Okay. I'll give you the details of what I'm sending tomorrow through Western Union. Ah, God bless you, ma. Thank you, ma. All right, then. Bye. Bye, ma. In my view, the design for the new church building is a magnificent one, very impressive. The 55 million naira already contributed uh, so far by the church members may not be sufficient, especially bearing in mind the kind of interior finishing we intend to put inside. Uh, Gio, sir, I will advise that we make more contributions. Why can't we set a target of 75 million naira for this project? Let's inform our members that we still need about 20 million naira to hit the target. Okay. They will contribute more with joy. Uh, in addition, pastors, I, I think we can now mobilize the contractors to start working on the bidding project immediately. Yes. Yeah. yeah, Pastor Andrew. Sir? Anything more to say before we round up the meeting? Ah, uh, uh, well, sir, there's nothing more to say, sir. All I just feel we need to do is just remind the people of their pledges. Last Sunday, some people still redeemed their pledges towards the church building project. And we're able to collect 5.7 million naira. Eh? Uh, praise God! Hallelujah. So what I just feel we need to do at this point in time is just to emphasize it the more, sir. It's going to be a massive cathedral. Amen. 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 Oh, that's good. Um, all right. Um, shall we pray then, pastors? Jesus. Oh, my sister. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Thank you, sir. Uh, I didn't know I would take too long uh, the meeting. But please come, 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 come and sit down. Come on, have a seat. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yes, um, you're welcome. Uh, so, what can we do for you? Um, Mrs. Teniola Wagbadi. My husband, Dr. Dili Wagbadi, and I are missionaries in a remote village about 160 kilometers away from Kaba in Kogi states. We've been on the field for about three years now. My husband is still there. But I'm here to seek financial support for the work of the mission field. We hold our Bible studies and Sunday services under a tree. We would like to build a small place which we serve as a church and school for the children of the village. We've been using bamboo as seats. We will construct local benches. We have a lot of visions to carry out for the deliverance of the villagers from darkness. So I'm here, sir to seek support for the deliverance of souls on remote mission field. Well, uh, my dear sister, uh, we thank God for your life and for the love of your dedicated husband uh, for being on the mission field. Thank you, sir. But I, I want to tell you something. You see, um, you see, you see the whole world is a mission field. Both
to the villages and the cities at God's harvest fields. So some of you are in the village harvesting the souls of the villagers, while we are in the cities harvesting the souls in the cities. And you see, both mission fields need money. So unfortunately, we may not be able to help your mission field for now. Sir, so many tribes of the world have not been reached with the gospel of the kingdom. Many remote towns and villages are hidden in the thick jungles, high mountains, and deep forests. These precious people are completely neglected. Many of them have even gone down to perdition without the slightest warning. Uh, you, you see, uh, we are presently engaged in a church building project. Uh, we want to build a 10,000 seater church auditorium because already the present space cannot contain us. I think that makes the work simple, sir. How do you mean? Sir, may I be allowed to come to your church on Sunday and feed your large congregation? I'll be able to challenge them to give towards the work of the mission and share some of our experiences on the field. No, 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 no way, no way. You see, our members are heavily taxed already towards the building project. And their contributions are not even enough. We have budgeted close to 80 million naira for the building project. Well, sir, what budget do you have for the millions of souls in the remote places? People who are living were dead in their sins. They are fainting and scattered abroad, exposed. Vulnerable and easily attacked by the devil. Well, uh, my sister, maybe sometimes next year we may have some contributions for people in your mission field, but not for now. Can't I even have anything tangible from this large church as contributions towards the evangelistic work in Hodoji village? Oh, well, uh, my sister, not for now, yeah, not now. Um, probably next year, next year. With due respect, sir. I don't mean to be rude to you, sir. But I wish to express my heart. Please speak on. I'm speaking on behalf of all the missionaries in the world, especially those of us in the remote places where we are facing the fiery flame of warfare. Places where darkness had previously and is presently prevailing. Yeah. Go on. We don't understand why our greatest disappointment has been coming from the church. People who ought to understand better. We should be mindful of Matthew 9.35, sir. It says, and Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. And what do you want to bring out of that? Today, sir, the church has concentrated 
the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom in the cities alone, neglecting the villages. Sir, if the Lord is sending people like us to the villages, it is because he has placed people like you in the cities to make the work easy for us. Sir, the work of the Great Commission is not complete in the cities. Jesus died for the villagers too. Good day, sir. Is that Pastor Lawrence? Yes. Hello? Uh, this is Reverend Mordecai on the line. Yes. Can you hear me? Uh, hello? Yes. This is Reverend Dr. Mordecai on the line. Yes. Pastor Lawrence, how are you? Uh, how was your missionary service yesterday? Uh, good, 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 good. Uh, uh, listen to me carefully. Uh, I have an instruction. Uh, yes, yes, for you. Very, very urgent. Please send to the headquarters all the funds collected at the missionary service yesterday. Yes, send everything properly counted to the headquarters by tomorrow afternoon, latest. Yes, it's very urgent. God bless you. God bless you. Good, good. Uh, greet your wife for me. Okay, all right. Yes, bless you. Sir, this is the missionary support fund, sir. We have counted it. Okay, good. Good. Uh, how much is it? Oh, it is 550,000 naira, sir. And I think I should deposit them in the mission account for onward transmission into uh, various uh, mission uh, agencies. Uh, no, 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 no. Just hold on a minute. Hold on. Yeah, because there is a missionary trip uh, we are planning for uh, Europe. Uh, I'll be visiting four European countries and I've been gathering some funds for the trip. And I think I would use this font for it. Uh, that's good, sir. Uh, but, sir, every last Sunday of the month, we collect uh, mission donations for, for our people in the mission feed. Yes, yes, yes. And, um, sir, every, every ending of the month, the people donate generously. And, sir, for the past six months, we have not been sending money to uh, the people in the mission field, sir. So what are you trying to say, Pastor Ruben? I'm sorry, sir. I just feel we have stopped sending money and help to those people in the mission field. Mm -hmm. Look, Pastor Ruben, it is not for you to decide what we do with every offering, tithe, and donation that comes into this church. It is not for you to decide. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, you are right, sir. You can go. Yes, sir. Um, sir? No, 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 no. You go. Leave this alone. Uh, yes, sir. the person to come in. Okay, 
this, sir. Ah. Good afternoon, madam. Uh, please sit down. Yes, what can we do for you? I'm telling you, my husband is Dili Wagbadi. We're both missionaries in Odoje village, about 160 kilometers away from Kaba in Kogi State. Ah, you're welcome. Pleased to meet you. How are you? You're welcome. You're welcome. How are you? I'm here to seek support for the work of the mission field. We need financial assistance to carry out our various visions for the mission field the Lord has sent us. Most importantly, we need people, churches, and organizations which will be offering consistent support to us on the mission field. We've been on the field for about three years now. Sir, we need your assistance to ease our body on that mission field. Good. How did you get to know about us? This is interesting. I've heard of this church from two or three people. That this church is a church that has vision and body for missions and missionaries. Yes, you're right. You see, we in our church here, we support missions adequately. And, um, you know, it's just that it's unfortunate uh, for now we may not be able to support you on your mission field for now. You see, because we are committed to uh, some missionary trips to Europe. So that's where we are committed to for now. But maybe later. But as a mission church, won't there be any remarkable donation the church will make towards the work of God in Udoji village? Hmm. Hmm? Yes, 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 yes. Um, let me see. We should be able to do something small. I mean, uh, let me see. Let me see. Should, let me see. Uh, Sister Faith! Sister Faith! Uh, do you have any money with you? I said the money from the sales of the audio test messages. Okay, about how much is that? It's 7,200. Mm, okay, bring everything, bring everything. Let's support this uh, yeah. missionary. Okay, bring so everything, bring everything. Thank you, sir. We need to support the missionaries. That's good. So how is your mission for you? Okay. That's good. Lord, we continue to bless you. And you too, sir. Yes. Good, good, good. Yes, this is 7,200. The Lord bless you. It is well with you. We appreciate it. Okay. My regards to your husband. Okay. and boring as usual. Hi, <laughs> Senny. I just want to tell her that I've already sent the money that I promised sending through the Western Union for her missions. Uh, that's very kind of you. That's very kind, very good of you. Thank you very much. Huh? You know, I also, I had to ask God to talk to me before I could understand her vision. You know, and ever since I've been trying to support her, you know. You see, we might not be, we might not all be worldwide evangelists or full-time pastors. 
But I think that once God calls any of our children to any of these works, then uh, we should give them our full backing. Mm. <laughs> Even their mother is, uh, is beginning to, to embrace the vision now. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, tennis, tennis here now. Mm. Okay. As Landry. What about the other churches you contacted so far? Not so encouraging. It is amazing how they respond when appeal to support the missionaries. I almost feel there's no more hope. We've been somehow forgotten and forsaken. <clears throat> Is it that serious? Yes, Dad. Many of the churches I went to don't even have mission support in their agenda. Many of them don't hold mission week. But they hold other special weeks. I thought you ought to look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. He's able to supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. You are right, sir. We missionaries are people of great zeal and faith. If not, we would not have chosen to go and serve God in places that are socially backward. So, we need the support of Christian companies like yours. Actually, I do share your burden and concern. You know. Thank you, sir. You know, in this company, uh, being a business dedicated to the work of God, uh, we do here mark our monthly tithe for the work of God. Who oh, praise God. Uh, you see, but uh, unfortunately, uh, mission support is not part of our own support focus. But why? So, Deli, we stay five more days. <laughs> to visit some churches and a corporate organization for more funds. I'm going home tomorrow. <laughs> I've missed you. You mean you miss your village? <laughs> oh, the screeching of the crickets, the village national sounds, <laughs> the holy money called crew. Mm -hmm. Oh, I miss them. Oh. <laughs> No place like oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. When are you coming back? <laughs>